I love Play-Doh so much. Yes! I could just squish this in my hands like all day. Assalamu alaikum and welcome to Noor Kids Crafters. <laughs> I'm your host, Ellen, and this is the show where we're making all sorts of fun DIY projects for kids. So today we are going to be talking about how I made this Play-Doh. Let's get started. Here is our ingredients list for the day. Before I head to the kitchen, make sure you get a grown-up for this one because we are going to be using the stovetop. Take a pot, add one cup of flour, a third cup of salt. Then you're gonna add two teaspoons of cream of tartar. Mix all of these dry ingredients together in the pot. And then you're going to add a tablespoon of vegetable oil and add a cup of water. Next is the fun part. You're gonna add the food coloring. And I'm going to use a mix of blue and green, but you can use whatever you like to make the Play-Doh whatever color you want. All right, and now it's starting to look cool. Now you're gonna mix it together and it's gonna turn into this goopy, lumpy substance. Have a grown-up put that pot on a burner and tell them that it needs to be set to medium-low. And that liquid's going to heat up and you're just going to stir it around the whole time. And I personally, just because I like an even richer color, I like to add a little bit more food coloring at this step. You don't have to, but you can. Plus, it's kind of fun to watch all that food coloring swirl around in the pot. Stir and stir and stir and stir and stir that pot. Try to get all those little lumps out now, especially. You'll see maybe some little pockets of flour or something, and you do not want those little pockets of flour. You just want nice, fluffy Play-Doh. And look at that. It's getting really hard to mix. That's actually exactly what we want. That means that we are starting to make Play-Doh, not just goop. So now we're gonna take it off the burner and set it aside to cool for a minute or two. Because this stuff is gonna be hot and we don't wanna touch it while it's hot. You're going to take some wax paper and you are going to spread it out on your counter or your table. And you're gonna take that pot and plop the Play-Doh onto that wax paper. It still probably looks a little chunky right now, that is okay. All right, and once it squishes like this, you are good, you've got your Play-Doh. <laughs> and to preserve your amazing Play-Doh, make sure that you put it in an airtight container of some kind. You can use Tupperware or an old takeout container, or my favorite, just a plastic zipping bag. All right, and make sure you check below you to give me a like and subscribe. We're gonna be back every week now, so get ready for some more awesome crafts, especially coming up for Ramadan. See you next week. Salaamu Alaikum.